it going guys? Today I have another DIY for you. I'm really excited because I've been wanting to do this for a long time and I finally got around to it and I think you guys are just gonna love it. So they are a bohemian style wall hanging made out of yarn and beads and pretty much whatever else you wanna put in them. You could use feathers, you could use crystals. You can just be creative with it and just have fun and kind of just create whatever you want. So I'm gonna show you a couple of really simple ways to do this and get started. And it just makes me smile when I see something that I make and that what I really like hanging up on my wall it just kind of gives me more motivation and self-confidence I guess that I was like yeah I made that and I really like it that's kind of silly but that's just kind of how I feel about it so let's get started style number one you're gonna need yarn in a few different colors a wooden dowel twine scissors and that's it so now you need to measure out how long you want your yarn and then you're gonna double it up and then cut it I don't really have a specific measurement of how long I really want these. I just kind of line it up on the table and I'm like, that looks good. So the colored yarn pieces are going to be a lot shorter than the white pieces. And then you're gonna cut the other color in the exact same length. And then I line up the colors how I want them to appear on the wooden dowel. Now you're gonna start placing the yarn onto your dowel. It's a pretty simple process on how you attach the yarn to the dowel. Place the yarn over the dowel and then just pull the string through the loop. And the knot is gonna be on the front side. And you're just going to keep doing these individual pieces until you have the look that you want. And this is the finished look that I came up with. And now you're going to attach the twine so you can actually hang this on the wall. You're just gonna knot it a few times on both ends and then cut off the extra. So this is where it gets tricky. You're gonna hang your wall hanging on the wall and then we're gonna cut it into like a V. So make the yarn on both sides the same length and then you're gonna cut the middle pieces of yarn to the length that you want them. And so now we're just gonna cut it into a V. This is important, be sure to line up your scissors and make sure that it's even on both sides so you know kind of the line that you're gonna be cutting. And that's actually pretty much it. This was a really simple wall hanging to do and can be done in, I don't know, about 20, 30 minutes if you have some free time. Style number two, a gold ring, yarn in any color, wooden beads, and scissors. So you're gonna do the same thing here and measure out how long you want your yarn pieces to be and make sure you double up on the yarn. And cut as many pieces as you want. Then you're going to attach it to the gold ring piece by piece. This can get a little tedious, but it goes pretty fast. Now that you've attached all the yarn pieces to the gold ring, take your wooden beads and they can be in any color and kind of lay them out how you want them to look on your wall hanging. A little tip from me to you, take some tape and attach it to the pieces of yarn that you wanna string the beads through. This is gonna make it so much easier to get the beads onto the yarn. Once you've attached all your beads, hang your wall hanging on the wall so we can cut it into the length that we want. So first, I'm evenly trimming the bottom of the wall hanging so I don't get confused. Cut the yarn on each end the length that you want it to be. Make sure it's even on both sides. Then from the middle, you're going to cut it into a V formation once again. If you don't like the V formation, I really do. You can just leave it straight and not have this and just leave it the way that I had it before I cut it into a V formation. And now you are all finished. And you don't have to do the color combos that I did. You can have different colored yarn, different colored beads to match any room that you wanna put this in. And here are some more styles of wall hangings that I've done in the past if you need to get some inspiration. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and enjoyed seeing what I like to decorate my walls with. I have so many empty walls. There's gonna be so many wall hangings everywhere. And what I love about it is that they're all gonna be so completely different from each other that it's not really like you're hanging up the same thing all over the place. And if you do decide to make this DIY, please send me a picture on Twitter or Instagram because I really wanna see all of your lovely creations. I might have some for sale up on my Etsy shop or something like that, I don't know, just because I might make a bunch extra and not know what to do with them. So if you think I should do that, let me know. And I will see you in the next one. So take your glass jar and a funnel and pour in your distilled water. Next, you're gonna measure out half a cup of witch hazel and I'm using witch hazel that does not have alcohol in it because I think that the alcohol will dry out your brushes.